Hold on, I want to show you what I learned. Hold on, hold on. Oh yeah, I'm bald, but I want to show you what I learned. Look, look what I look what I can do. Bitch, Corvette, Corvette, hop in the motherfucking chat like that. Be the see the chat like that. You know now how you walk like that, how you talk like. And that's all. That's all I know how to do. I'm bald. Again. I don't know what you know. I don't know. I don't have anything else to say because, listen, I, I'm not. I'm not. This ain't. This ain't new to me. You feel me? But the fact that I just. I. You know what? I just love it when barbers don't listen to you. Today I'm reacting to Rap Monster. Even though he doesn't want to be called Rap Monster, the title is called Rap Monster. Joke. I had. I have a confession to make. I apologize. For missing a day. I know I'm the most consistent YouTuber out here right now. But I'm sorry for missing a day. You want to know why? Because I had work all day. And I couldn't do it. And I wanted to. Well, I did. I was doing something for the other channel. That I'm sure that y'all would like. But guess what? Change of plans. So, I, I, me, this nigga right here, I missed a day for no reason. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean to fuck up. I, I didn't mean to fuck up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But then again, let's just listen to the song because, yeah, I, I got a shaved head today. So I want I want to wear my ice. So I wear my ice today. I want to look sweet. Can I look sweet? When I look sweet with my ice on, nah, that look like I'm doing too much. This is RM joke. I think I know what he's about to do. Because I remember there was this type of song. It was Tyler the Creator and The Game. I forgot what song it's called. I think it's Trouble on My Mind. No, it's not Trouble on My Mind. Hold on. I, I got I to gotta search it up. There was a Tyler the Creator, Pusha T, and The Game song. And he had this same, this same, you know, the same jump. You feel me? Um, Where is that song called? Tyler... The game. What is that song called? Oh, Martians versus Goblins. Fool, that song was OD. It had the same premise. Like, this shit is crazy. Ugh. I'm not even, I'm not even gonna play it. Y'all remember? Hey, y'all niggas go watch that. Y'all niggas go watch that and listen to that song. Remember when niggas used to get on tracks like, like, just heavy hitters? The game, Lil Wayne, Tyler. On one song, nigga, that would it, hey listen. Back then, shit was so amazing. Now everybody just doing their own thing. Nobody wants to get on the same. You know what I'm saying? Nobody wants to get on the same song. Like I would really love, I would love and appreciate if everybody got on one song like like that. Like the last time niggas did that was Champions, and Kanye West did that, and that was a long as while ago. Why can't niggas get on one song like that, bro? I'm miss, I'm missing when shit used to be fun. She used to be fun, my nigga. Shit used to be fun, but whatever. Okay, so listen. Every single time, like every every single time, it, it's like I can never decide who I like the best out the rap line because what the fuck. I was about to go to Sugar, but now I'm back to RM. So, this is what we doing? Is this what we doing? Is this what is this what we doing? Okay. Okay. Oh, he said motherfucker. Wait, I like <laughs> I like what they say. That shit do. That shit do. That shit was tough. That shit do. Only the good out of my campaign. Only the man that can get out of rap pain. Now, soon as she got a beat, 
Oh shit! <laughs> Wait, I was gonna say this. These niggas don't look like how they look like when they look like how they look like in real life. If that makes sense, like you wouldn't think like this nigga would be the lovable cuz from BTS. You feel me? You think he's just like a a gritty ass rapper? I feel like that's a part of the 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 allure of these niggas. You know, they get they can look like so many other things with with what they do. I guess I can only look like one nigga. Even though I look like seven different niggas. Y'all seen Power? A lot of people have told me I look like Tyreek from Power. That's been going on for like seven years. Or however long Power has been on. I I don't think I look like Tyreek, but apparently a lot of people do. And I've been getting that shit in everywhere. At my job. At the Chick-fil-A drive-thru. Niggas walk up to me <laughs> on, <laughs> on the street. <laughs> Talk about are you Tyreek? No, bitch, I'm not. Oh, bitch, he's getting in his bag. I didn't even know they let you have earrings in a, a sane asylum. Oh shit, I need to go check it in the same asylum. That, that fit look kind of sweet though. I'm not gonna hold you. It look, it look kinda it look kinda sweet. It look kinda sweet. Not gonna hold you, but I don't know, man. I think I'm liking rap. Oh, I think I like an RM better. <laughs> Breathe, nigga, nigga, breathe, nigga, nigga, breathe, nigga, nigga, breathe. Can you breathe? Breathe, do this. Do that, nigga, breathe, nigga. What the fuck? What the actual fuck? Nigga, breathe. <laughs> What the fuck was that? Oh, go back to that. What the Actual fuck. Oh, I'm gonna go to these lyrics because what the fuck? I'm gonna read what they I'm gonna read the editor's note. <laughs> One particular line, this is a meaningless wordplay, sums up the song pretty well. Apart from it being a message to haters, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't really be re trying to react to the fuck the haters as songs. This shit is just in the, the order of the shit that I get. <laughs> so I'm just going down the order of the shit that I get. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> but apart from it being a message to the haters who believe they are the real rappers and idol rappers of fake in particular, the song is comprised of word plays with a heavy presence of end rhymes and lines that are not ne that are not necessarily connected to each other in terms of their meaning. The track really showcases his wordplay ability and technical aspects of his rapping skills. In his 2015 interview with Hip Hop Player, he said, Joke is a song that I wrote using stream of consciousness. That's why I titled it Joke. There's nothing hidden in the lyrics. This song is 500% for the auditory pleasure. I felt that though. I felt that. I, I respect that. I respect that, my nigga. I respect that. Thank you. My, 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 my auditory has been pleasure. You heard? I respect that. I felt the necessity of a song that refreshes the mood without any particular meaning since I've included messages and sentiments in other songs. I included that... I, I included what I think. I included what I think are the skills of rapping. 
There are some lines that I'm not particularly happy or comfortable with to translate and share. I do so, however, because Namjoon acknowledged his mistakes. To talk about the gender issue specifically, the lyrics are not dedicated at females. Oh, okay. Nowhere in the lyrics does he target females or women. I'm going to try to say women. However, I believe that it does not justify the usage of some female-specific derogatory words to degrade someone, even if the person is not a woman, or even more so if the person is not a woman. I stand by this even if he does, did not... Blah, 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 blah. I stand by this even if he did not intend to be disrespectful to women and even if it was all for word plays because music and lyrics are often not about what are meant but about how they are perceived. I mean, I guess, I, I, I guess. <laughs> Again, I'm sharing my translation and interpretation because Namjoon himself acknowledged this and has been and is trying to not to repeat the mistakes, which is something I learned from him and admire him of. As usual, please have in mind that my translation and interpretation are my own, meaning that they're based on my own judgment that might be different from Namjoon's intention and other people's opinion. So if I say Namjoon hates women in the title, I'll be wrong, right? For clickbait, for clickbait, for clickbait purposes, I'll be wrong, right? Okay. The rhythm that makes my eardrums vibrate, bass and drum, the fuel that makes me move, all the happiness that exists here, and even your New Year's luck, I'm a fucking get em. That was in English. <laughs> I'm a lasting, and you guys are dandruff. Wait, Elastin is a shampoo brand. Shampoo that gets rid of danger. Oh, <laughs> rap cripples. Your levels are all alike. Fame, girls, money, that mom, honey, to the 100, to the 100. Honey, honey, 100. Notice how he pronounces 100 to make it rhyme with hun. Oh, what the fuck? Okay. Who's going to stop me? I'm going to fucking beat him. Leech like haters, they kill me, they tie me, they silence me. I'm so super, I just grew up. Crappy motherfucker, motherfucker. Ooh, I like that word, motherfucker, I like that word. Mix them all and break their wrists and ankles. Make them do circus, make them do pull-ups. They all fuck up. Pull-up in Korean has two meanings. Pull-up is an exercise, and the second one is barely succeeding at something. Pull-up. Make them do something challenging and watch them barely make it and fuck themselves up. Okay. Pull up. Pull up. Two different things with one mouth. Girls call you uni. That has to do with a dick, right? Uni? No. That has nothing to do with a dick. Okay, I thought I thought it had something to do with a dick. Was that a yoni? No, that's a pussy. A, a yoni is a pussy. Okay. Two different things in one, two, 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 two different things with one mouth. It's something that has been satirical. Two different things with one mouth is something that has been traditionally tabooed for men in Korea. There are even old sayings such as, a real guy's word carries the weight of a thousand pieces of gold. It is obviously an outcome of gender bias prejudice, but it's still widely used. Some would jokingly call a man who changes his word a woman. With that said, girls call you uni because you said two different things from one mouth. Since you spoke two different things from one mouth, you are not a real man. So I'm going to treat you as a woman. And those call you a uni. All right. I get, okay. You get brazen face too easily. In your songs, you're acting as if you're Lee Kung Hee. Lee Kung Hee is the chairman of Samsung Group. Eh, girls are swarming more than flies. Stop it. I can clearly see your reality. At your Hongdae Entertainment Show, your regulars are those few hip-hop fangirls. Hongdae is an abbreviation for Hong Hongik Dehakyo University. and also refers to the area nearby. Hongdae area is known for its indie music culture, clubs, arts, and so on. A lot of indie artists, including hip-hop artists, hold their concerts where it are described <coughs> sorry, in a derogatory manner as <coughs> Hong Day Entertainment Show. In this area, a common female name in the past is a Sun, Sun Hip... Jesus Christ. Um, holy fuck. Okay. Um, which means hip-hop fangirls seems to be a counterattack to some rappers who said that BTS is followed by Appa Sun Yi, pronounced as Baba Sun Yi, is a demeaning word referring to referring to hardcore women fans or female fans of male celebrities. 
I open and close the door of this place like a fucking wasted person. I can be broken in two ways. A fucking wasted person or who that is open and shut given the previous sentence. I open and close the door. This is an intended double meaning. Uh, the rap pain that you insist that you feel every day. I conquer the beat in a flash. When seeing you, the beat talks. Beat him. You must envy me. I can't fucking read. Okay. You must envy my pace so much that your stomach gets twisted. Sweden, Germany, Brazil to Japan. My pen is stronger than your dirty tongue. You can only talk, but I have an actual ability to write lyrics. I have an ability to write Okay. Now I get to reveal my card that is even better than Five Guang. Five Guang, Five Brights is a way of collecting points in a Korean card game called Ghost Stop or Huatu. Huatu is also a name of cards themselves. It's similar to having four aces in poker. Well, I don't know how to play poker, so I guess I'm not a man. Got six bullets in my tongue. Shut up. Got six bullets in my tongue. Six snakes in my lungs. Six socks got me feeling Tupac. Yeah, these are ASAP's lyrics. <laughs> what? He took lyrics? Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, it wasn't wild for the night. But they, okay, wow. Huh. Okay, I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm not going to hold that against them. There's nothing wrong with taking lyrics. As long as you make them sound good, it is what it is. The last line, six shots got me feeling. Tupac is intended from ASAP Rocky's Wild for the Night. Six shots got me feeling like Pac. Six bullets, six snakes, and six shots might all refer to other six members of BTS who empower RM. Uh, okay. You don't have anything special like a happily married couple. It can be interpreted in two ways. A special thing, separation. A happily married couple who would not separate. But the real message is, you don't have anything special. Like a real woman, you don't have anything to be erect. Because <laughs> women got no dick. That's what that means. Women got no pee-pee. They ain't got no pee-pee. It's a colloquial term referring to a woman with qualities and appearances traditionally associated with women. Modest, quiet, good at cooking, and so on. Oh, I thought this means because they don't have no dick. Because erect? Like a dick? I, all right. Whatever. <laughs> I'm a duster, beating the dust like tack, tack. Sweeping it off back, back like water. My tongue washes dishes. See how... Sior, Dio, Eopti, Opti has nothing to be erect. And Sior, Lo, Dio, Re, Dishwashing, Rhyme. Okay. This is meaningless wordplay, you know. I got a motherfucker. Oh, I got a motherfucking beat, I got a motherfucking rhyme, I got a motherfucking flow, I got a motherfucking style, I got a motherfucking wine, I got a motherfucking shine. Oh, I like that. That was that was a little hard. I like that. How many bars does my motherfucking line have? Bitch, I'm the one. I'm so motherfucking prime. You guys are fucking unsophisticated village chiefs. Two ways. Head of a country style village or a blind person in the countryside. An old man style loving hog or jock bile. He pronounces hog almost as yog, which means swear word. It's a slang word for an old man who is stuck in his own values, usually of the past, and tries to teach, govern young people's behaviors. Jokbal is a traditional Korean dish consisting of pig's feet cooked with soy sauce and spices. Okay. <laughs> you all niggas got soul. I don't know what the pig feet. They, I don't know what I know about that pig feet. They got the pig feet. Bitch, I'm your man. 10 out of 10. My heart is black. A midsummer suntan. Let's begin the operation. Yeah, the brand of my name. I do it all by myself, the brand of my name. This is an amusement park that I build. Pull the lever. Pull the lever, Crunk. Pull the lever. Pull the motherfucking lever. Even from the roots, there's a difference between my and your levels. My real name is Greatest, and my surname is Ever. Last name ever. First name Greatest. Like a sprained ankle. Boy, I ain't nothing to play with. <laughs> I want... I want every request name change. I'll never, ever, ever. Yeah, dude, you're acting up rather than owning it. Being, being eaten rather than topping the food pyramid. Being fake rather than being the answer. Which will be further explained later. Can be used to refer to someone in a superior position. Is a slang describing behaviors so energetic and overly enthusiastic to the extent that they're almost annoying. Meaning rice or food. Can be used to describe someone who's inferior or something that's too easy. Is a slang that means fake. When you watch porn, you come in three seconds. What? <laughs> what the fuck? I'm top of the top. 
Oh, I'm the top of the top of the top. Top of the top of the top of the top. Yeah, I'm the top of the top. The ruler of rulers, the answer of answers. All the sun bays and whole bays go back. Just suck a dick and have it. It's delicious. Word to word translation of just suck a dick will be please bear your dick and eat it. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay. Yeah, you're my enemy, so reveal where you belong. The first hyog means enemy, and the second hyog means somewhere who belongs to or is under or is registered under. While it's translated as reveal where you belong, it's noteworthy that hyog and jok dick sound similar. As explained in the previous line, means to bear, which makes sound similar to bear your dick. Which basically means to fuck yourself or fuck off. There's a lot of metaphors in this shit. Oh shit. I like I like Korean. Oh, I like Korean. Day and night, fucking hard working. You basically can only rap in three syllables. You go like, babidi ba. Oh, that's where that shit came from. Babidi babidi boobidi babidi. Nominee nominee jiggity cut chabidi. <laughs> Yours is canceled. Just eat up some dried fish. Nagari is a Japanese originated slang for being canceled or no longer considered as a valid option, and so on. Nogari is dried little porak that is often used as a snack. Is your name Mimi Shouty? You impossible. Is a slang that combines no and dap answer. No dap or no cap. No dap, no cap. But you have cap. And is used to describe a situation or a person where there is no answer or solution. My rap is a rap that goes off completely. Your rap, let me say just one thing. Don't rap. Mine is a rap played in big waters. Yours is really not a rap. Non-rap. Some background information before moving on to the next four lines. There's an old hierarchy system. Technically, it can be used for some other purposes, but we abstract from them. They're called Shongdan or Sipgan. With the order and descending power appreciated above is the most superior and is often used to describe something or something with power, authority, great quality or ability in doing something. Yeah, you're the best woman, best vagina. <laughs> I don't, I don't need a translation for that. <laughs> okay. So you're, so, so you're good at bossing around. Itself is a slang, meaning behavior or activity, which is widely used in recent years due to improper power abuse by chebos and the resulting social outage. It means a behavior of a person in a superior position, forcing another woman in, a, in, in, in an inferior position to perform unquestionable requests. Ah, but thinking about it, you were never really that powerful. Ooh. I'll take power off and call you dear gonorrhea. Itself means dear lover by replacing with becomes, which essentially means gonorrhea. Okay. <laughs> if we, however, stick to the word composition of take and apart from each other and, and, and interpret in the system and as behavior slash activity becomes a behavior or which means someone who is sly and adulates his superiors. It's also the second to last in the hierarchy order. Huh. I pop it, rock it, knock it, never stop it, talk it, some trashes. I'm jobless, so I don't have mercy. You're real jobless, so you don't have bus fare. Oh, you broke, nigga, you broke. Can be interpreted in two ways. Mercy, one's own expense. A jobless person would not be able to afford anything out of his own pocket. But the real message is, I don't have any mercy for you. You know I ain't about the thousands. Let me ride it. Yo, drop it. Swap it. Rock it. Mock it. Stock it. Lock it. In my pocket. <laughs> There's full of monsters. Was this like an Eminem reference or something? Because that sounds like an Eminem bar. <laughs> yeah, I getting on them. Bitch getting on them rich. Son of a beach. Son of a beach. You're a son of a beach. I shine like a gemstone. Like a son of a jade. I'm a monster. So son of a sitch. Oh, son of a stitch. Oh, stitch is a title. From Lilo and Stitch. Okay. <laughs> yeah, man, I told you that I'm a monster. That's why I be rapping nonstop. I don't want your hands at the concert. Want your fucking damn airy hands at the concert. Hit me. Okay. Well, that was RM joke. That was a lot of lyrical ability. That was a lot of that was a lot of lyrical ability. And it was a lot to read too. But I ain't tripping. This was alright. This was cool. This is a cool little song. I like this. I sometimes I like when niggas be um when they just be rapping just to rap, you know, just to show off, just to just to flex their rap muscles and shit. I I appreciate that. I fucks with that. Thanks, Arm, for this. This is this is cool. And I'm not joking. 
That in itself was a joke. Get it? All right, whatever. I'm bald now. I don't give a fuck what you say. Huh. Huh. Ho, hey, nigga. Ho, hey, nigga. Mmm. <laughs> if y'all enjoy, please leave a like down below. Subscribe, be new, and turn on my post notifications. And tell your friends about me. I'm bald. That's it. That is it. Thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for everything. I'll see you guys in the next video. Y'all be easy, all right? I bet. I cool, I bet, nigga. Think I give a fuck? I bet, nigga. I bet, nigga.